but we will get this match started over here. Kind of looking very loose, a lot of movement back and forth. Kind of in the black, Mirigali in the white, if you're relatively new to these guys. If you're relatively new to these guys, you are going to want to <laughs> yes. watch this match. You are going to be seeing them a lot. Big guard pull here from Nicholas Marigali, right into a very deep daily heave of that left leg all the way across the opposite hip, which makes it really hard for someone on top to maintain their balance. Now almost like a, looking like he's very comfortable staying on his side, almost like a little side close guard. I think he has a lapel fed underneath on that left-hand side, so if he gets that far sleeve, your darts is is gonna get tipped over. See that right hand looking for that far sleeve? That's a big battle right there because if he grabs it, he's gonna get tipped. And he's got the collar under that, on that left hand, Marigali does, under the leg, like a single more or less. And so if he can get that far sleeve, he'll probably be able to tip kind of down. Yeah, he could. He, de he definitely could. That lapel changes things a lot. And with the, you know, this is a, Sometimes a battle of patience here. It right? is. If you get too urgent, yeah. um, things can go bad very quickly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, definitely a dangerous position for Marigali right now. We see, you know, there's some, he could potentially shoot up some triangles from this position, which looked like it was on his mind for a moment. Mm -hmm. And now, kind of jumping over, looking for the back, but almost giving up the sweep. We, we do see him give up too, yeah. wow. Yeah, he, he was in a kind of a mess there with those grips that Miragali got early from that deep daily heva. Yes. Just really had some patience, as you mentioned, for his balance, but he was, he was behind from the beginning with those grips. Yeah, I mean, we killed so. about two minutes just with that yeah. position alone, and yeah. not a whole lot happened up until that sweep. So, but some nice elevation from Kainan here with his right leg, the butterfly hook. We saw Nicholas Marigali reach down and address it. And now his classic come up sweep with that pant grip that we see all the time from a lot of the Otto's black belt competitors, especially Kainan. Uh, but the pressure and the, the agility from Marigali and the hip awareness was just a little too much. So Kainan was not able to come up for those two. Looked like it was almost there, though. It's pretty impressive considering how many people kind of saves with that. Yeah. So this is a, a little interesting. We don't see a whole lot of this half guard from Kynan and a big back set from Marigali, but Kynan doing a good job keeping his right knee just inside enough. And he does have the underhook with his right arm. Right now he might be opting to pass the lapel to the other side, go. but he has to be careful of a big switch here if Mar Marigali comes over and starts looking for the mount. But because he did Single. that lapel through, he's able to come up yeah. and exchange for the sweep. Yeah, that's wow. a nice, nice gripping situation from Kanan there to... And it turned it into a little single leg. Yeah. Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> he said the pan grip wasn't enough. I needed the whole <laughs> it, lapel wrapped yeah, through. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a good one for single, right? Yes. Much better than the pan. Yeah, absolutely. It was a good, good, good shot of how early he did it. He did mm -hmm. it early on and knew what he was going for. Now he's in the close guard, though. Yeah, he did a great job of keeping the, the underhook um, tight just enough until he was ready to pass the lapel through, which is kind of a dangerous thing. A lot of times we see people pass the lapel through like that and lose the underhook battle and then get smashed or like, while they're looking to pass the lapel. So really, really good timing. He just shows so much experience and awareness of where he was at. But now here in Nicholas Marigali's close guard, which is somewhere I never want to be, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Marigali doing a great job with that posture control with the left hand on the collar making it kind of hard for Kynan to stand up now if he can't get the, the correct grips. And now we're even on the scoreboard. So 6.20, not even at the halfway mark yet, and we are 2-2. Two to two. So still anybody's match. It's interesting how, uh, it's nice how we see every time that Kynan comes back down from trying to open the guard, he always pops that right knee in the middle which gives him the opportunity to go for a knee cut. It gives him the opportunity to back out and start some more distance passing. And just makes it hard for Marigali to reclose his close guard again, yeah. which is where he wanted to be. But now a big lasso inserted on the right side from Marigali, which is a great use of passive control. And a great use of slowing down a lot of Kynan's uh, beautiful outside passing. He does a lot of beautiful outside uh, Toriano style passing. So with somebody like that, you know, you do have to slow them down so that they cannot do those big explosive movements, ripping your legs side to side. Um, we talked about a lot about that earlier, where you know bigger opponents in the open class 
to have to worry about the speed of people that are, you know, even though the weight difference here is not huge, it's still very relevant at this caliber. At this caliber, every difference in speed and strength and timing matters. So in that case, you know, a lot of times the bigger athletes will need to slow down the smaller opponents a little bit just so that they're not able to use that speed advantage against them and it gives them the opportunity to use their strength and power advantage against a smaller opponent. So pretty, pretty common theme we see here. Um, we've seen it a couple times already, especially with the lasso in particular. Yeah, you see that lasso kind of trying to pass around to that right side. I believe he's going to try to long step out of the lasso for a second, but he can't, I don't think he can get his left hand quite where he wants to get it right now. Mergaldi's done a good job of keeping his left hand free of any grip with the lasso. Yeah, it's interesting because he has the lasso in um, on the right side, but then his left leg is in between, which is ready to elevate, like a, mm -hmm. uh, like a butterfly style hook, ready to elevate at any time. And the left grip on the collar keeps Kynan's posture broken, right? So from here, you know, we might, it might be helpful to see if Kynan can break off that posture grip, but the problem is, the posture control grip, but the problem is if he does and he lets go of that collar with the right hand, Marigali is ready to sweep him, he's ready to elevate with that left leg. So a very difficult position to start to break free from. And very smart on Marigali because with this game of patience, again, with, with athletes of this caliber, a lot of times it does come down to patience. He knows that if Kainan gets frustrated enough and starts to get you know, annoyed with these grips and just starts to get impatient uh, and aggressive, then the openings will come, yep. right? Sometimes it's a game just waiting. It is such a minute the gripping game when got two athletes are so good at gripping it really did it really is a matter of one grip makes or breaks things here yeah absolutely and then the same thing is in the reverse you know Kynan wants to wait down Marigali a little bit to see if he'll get a little frustrated try to let go of his one of his grips switch things up because all we need is Marigali to change one of his mm -hmm. either his right leg lasso his left leg butterfly or his left leg collar and if he changes one of those things it gives Kynan the opportunity to start to pass and yeah. we just saw that now right he moved his left leg off the butterfly just for a moment and kind of felt comfortable enough to take his hand off the collar and start to address that foot. But then, once that foot came back in, now he's back to the collar grip again. A big elevation attempt by Marigali. So again, we see as soon as that butterfly hook came out, Kynan was letting go of the collar and addressing that foot. And then once that butterfly hook is back in, now he's back to the collar grip. So this is very, very intentional, yep. right? We're seeing a game of chess for sure. Absolutely really still stifled and it's that lasso really is what's holding him in now he's let go of the lasso we'll see if, nope he's still ha holding on the belt but you could do two things with that lasso grip versus that last grip right is hold the belt or untie your hand if you can't untie your hand that belt's a, a very very good second Anchor. place yeah, yeah it's very good my guy's getting some good elevation but kind of space is so so strong it won't even be enough for an advantage he's not being he's not hitting his butt and coming back up he's just kind of balancing onto his knees and his feet and we have 145 left. So I think we're going to see Marigali open up just a little bit more now. I think he's going to really be looking for the advantage of the sweep. He doesn't want to leave it to decision. And that could lead to one of two things. It could lead to some big attacks from Marigali, or it could lead to the opening that we're talking about for Kynan to start passing. Because, again, every time one grip changes, Kynan takes that right hand off and starts to address the pass. And then once everything's back in place, he puts that right hand back. Yeah. And it anchors him to Marigali, right? It helps him keep his base. If he doesn't have that grip, he can't pull into Marigali and keep them connected, which means he could be swept. But with only 115 left, interesting to kind of look at the corners and see who looks urgent. You know, the only person I've really seen yelling so far is Lucas Barbosa. He's coaching Kynan alongside Galvao. And no one looking particularly urgent. But now Kynan's going to be able to get some movement now that there's a... The lasso is out and wasn't Marigali wasn't able to pull him into the close guard. But now, a big posture break by Marigali. But because his right leg is stuffed inside, Kynan's going to try to pass to the left here with a nice body, stop, body lock passing. A little bit of a hip switch, but back into the lasso we have Marigali. This is going to be 30 seconds left. This is going to be huge because we potentially have a referee's decision if there isn't any score in the last 30 seconds. So definitely these guys need to get something on the board and advantage at least. Yep. You know, 20 seconds now, I think Marigali is going to get really, uh, really explosive here. He's trying to bring that left elbow over to overwrap that arm of Kynan. 15 seconds left. Kynan has that right arm passed through to the opposite arm of Marigali, which is a good control position, but it doesn't lead to a quick pass. Yeah, it's a slower so passing go in that one. Wow. 
What a fight. What yeah, a match. Yeah. So we have the three referees here uh, for this match. So it's going to be a best two out of three call for the referee's decision. And really, I can see this going either way. Typically, with referee's decision, I have a clear opinion of who I think won. But to be <laughs> honest, you know, this really was a chess match. Both guys were very, very active, even if it was in small, minute ways, trying to make something happen. And just a lot of experience showing on these yeah. mats here today. Let's see what the referees decide. And it is a split, split decision for Marigali. Nicholas Marigali. Wow. Split decision for Nicholas Marigali. Kynan has some good sportsmanship, you know, offers a little applause. Yeah, and, just uh, that, just wow. those la that lasso really tied him up. Shut down any of the, the, the movement that he could have, and I guess that's what pulled him through. Wow. Yeah, incredible fight. So now 